See, so now I have made those straight lines curves. So now, you know, of course, by manipulating the line, I can, you know, pretty much uh, distort or control or manipulate the curves as I want. All right. So as usual, the angle determines where the curves are pointing, and the length determines how high or how deep the curves are. Okay. Now, an important thing to notice here, and I'm still holding on option. And thing, important thing to notice here is that notice that both direction handles are acting as one. It's like it's one direction handle. Okay, so if I extend one, the other one is extended in the same way. If I put one up, the other one goes down adversely. Okay. Now, what if I wanted to? But notice that um, also by having both act as one, I'm activating both curves. See, so when I move one, so what? What if I want to just manipulate only one curve and not the other? What do I do? I release the button, I release the mouse, but I'm still holding down option. And now I can click on whatever direction handle that I want. This is the direction line and the dot is the direction point. So by clicking on either direction point, I can control only one curve. And I'll show you how I do that. Click and now I'm only controlling one direction handle. See that? I'll do it over again. So. First, you hold down option, you click on the curve, hold down and drag, and now the direction handles are activated. To control only one direction handle, I released and then I click on either one. I'm still holding on option. I only release option when I'm done uh, adjusting the curves. See? So now I can only control I, I can control only one. What if I want to make this remove these curves and start all over again? You hold, on, you hold down Option, and then you click on the curve. And pretty much what I did was deactivate those direction handles. Okay, So now, <clears throat> that's a key thing, two things you learned with uh, Option, with uh, the Option key. Okay, You hold on Option, you activate. So for where there is no uh, direction handles, you can activate them. And not only that, you can also control only one direction handle at the given one that you choose. And also, you can see what I just did. I'll just repeat that because I think that may have missed you guys. Now look, first three, I'm going to show you the three things that the option key does. First, you can activate direction handles where there are no where there are no direction handles by doing this. See that? I just activated that. Now secondly, you can control one direction handle. Two, if I want to join these direction handles again, I click on the point. There. Now only one, and now two again. See that? So I'll do it again really quickly. So first, you activate the direction handles, you release, you control only one, or if you want to control both again, you go back to the point, click and hold, and there you go. Now you have a new set of direction handles. Okay, and then you can repeat the same process again and control only one and go back and control two again. All right, it's very powerful. <clears throat> and then at any point, say for example, you know, you're, you're working, da 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 da, you come back to this point. Now you still want to touch up this a little bit more. What do you do? You hold on option, click on it, right, while, while activating the pen tool, of course. So you hold, you hold down option, click on it, and then you click and hold. And there you go. See, then you can click on one, or you can click on the point and hold and drag, and there you go. All right. Now on to the next key, the command key. Now I'm going to to give you a better illustration of how the command key is very useful. I'm going to delete this, and then I'm going to make this layer visible that I hid before. Now let's say, for example, we're trying to outline this shape. Um, uh, right here, I have there are three ways to draw uh, a selection, but I'm going to go into that after I show you what the command tool, uh, the command key does. So now, say I, I want to outline just this part, right? So I activate the pen tool, and I just you know make my little dots, and then I close it. Good. Now, actually, I'll repeat that because I I, I want to deliberately not do it correctly. All right, so I do it like that. I do like so. So now, 
<clears throat> I'm trying to outline this blue shape, but notice that some of the points are actually off. So what do I do? I hit the command, instead of, you know, doing this all over again, you hold down command key, and now, with the pen tool still activated, when I hold down the command key, now you see the arrow is, is white. If I hold down option, it becomes a V, the inverted V. When I hold down command, it becomes this, uh, tri this, uh, uh, white triangle, uh, white arrow, and notice that there's also this transform box around it, just like you would if you had the transform tool. And what this does is it allows you to transform the path in the same way you would with the transform tool. So you can rotate the path, you can scale the path, and you can skew it. See that? And you can move it. Okay? Now let's undo that. I go back to the point we we're making before. Now, so <clears throat> we're trying to outline this thing, and I hold down Command. Now, what I can do is go to each point, and I can move them as I choose. So I can move this point. I'm holding down Command, and I can put these points wherever I want. See that? Put them wherever I want. And after I'm done positioning them, I switch to Option. Now I can click and hold and activate the uh, direction handles. See that? It's pretty useful. Pretty cool. All right? Now, and remember, you can also control only one handle if you choose. All right? So see, that's the combination of using the command key with the option key. Now, another thing is, I activate the pen tool. Now, what if you know, I thought like, oh wow, you know, it'd be cool if I had another point here I could drag here. Simple. Notice when I move the cursor, the nib, towards the segment, a plus sign occurs. What does that mean? I can just click and now I have a point there. Now I can click on the command key and move this point right there. Now I can use the direction handles and do that. All right. And in the same way, you, while you have the pen tool activated, you can hit the minus key and what does that do? It allows you to remove points. So if I click on a point, it will remove that point. I want to remove this point. Click on it, and it's gone. See that? So now I can hold Option, right? And now, by having the pen tool activated, I hold on Option, and now I have the handle, and I there you go. See that? Hold on Command, and I can move a point. So you use the Command key mostly if you want to... Um, move points individually or if you want to scale or manipulate or transform the shape of a path or if you want to um, move a path as a whole like so or if you want to join paths too you can do that like for example if I wanted to have, uh, have another path right here so if you want to merge paths simple all you have to do is select one of them and just join them wherever you want them to be joined you just intersect them at that point and they will become one you click away and there they go and now if you select them with the pen tool they're gonna be moving as one unit see that now what if you wanna join make another path from this path simple you activate the pen tool right and then you click see when you move to a segment you're given the option to add a point you click on it and now, there you go. See that? So you've added that path. <clears throat> now, if you want to delete that, you can use the selection tool and delete a part of a path. Just like that. Okay? Pretty simple. Now, um, <clears throat> I'm going to show you three different approaches that you can use to make selections or outline a path. And they're here. One is draw the main points, then add more points later. So say, for example, it's the pen tool. You can add paths, just main, main points you think you need. You may need one here, one there, one there, and you connect them. And then later on, you know, you may say, oh, crap, I think I need another point here. You can add that point later. Use the command tool, hold down command, and then, you know, you do that. Add a point here. You know, use the command tool, move it there. Click pen tool again, add a point here, use the command tool, and do that. And then later on, you can use the option tool and then activate the direction handles, like so.
All right. Add a po activate pen tool. Add a point there. Use a command tool. Move it right there. And then activate the direction handles. And there you go. All right. So that's one way. <clears throat> the second way is to lay out points, then add curves afterwards. So you can take the time to you do like so, then like so, you know. So this way you're putting all the as many points as you think you'll need. And then afterwards you just go in, you hold on option, and you just start activating the direction handles, you know, putting curves where you think you need them. So it really depends on your style and how you're comfortable working. Those are the three, those are the two main, uh, well, two of the three main ways. And the final way <clears throat> is to just make the curves as you go along. So you activate the pen tool. Now, listen, I'm going to show you something that you need to watch for. So you click on this, right? Now, you click on this, you make the curve. All right? Now, remember, I said, after you release, see, I just made this curve. Now, I want to make a curve that follows this. Now, this direction handle here is affecting the curve I'm going to draw next. So, in other words, if I wanted a curve here, see, it may, well, I, I got it pretty perfect, but say, for example, this direction handle were up here, okay, and I wanted a curve here. See, it doesn't really help. See, it's going to be difficult. What do you do? Whenever you're drawing a point, you look at the direction handle that's going to affect the curve you're going to draw next. So, you, it's generally good to make it in the direction of the curve you're going to draw next or just remove it completely and you do that by doing this so first you hold on option and you move it in the direction of the curve you want next and then you make the curve pretty easy and secondly you move it again I'm holding on option I move it back because it's too long and then I click on a point release and then I click on a point and there you go and you keep doing like that hold on option See? And then you click on the point. Just like so. Alright? So, remember, after you make a point, you can either, say for example, this is, you know, I'm going to exaggerate this. I'm going to exaggerate this, this handle. The handle is like that, and you want to make a curve around here. See? It doesn't work. So what you have to do is, you have to either click on, you click on option, and you either make this direction handle turn in this direction or you can just remove it completely by extending it all the way back to the point so that way it has almost zero effect on the curve you're going to draw next and then you make the point see that and there you go and you keep doing like that so that's the third way and uh, let's see if there's anything else to add to that. I think that's about it all right, so uh, remember the command and option key are very important. And um, once you understand what the option key does and the command key, I think you're, you're pretty much on your way. Um, and remember, at any point, you can go back to a point, you hold the command key, and this, you move a point however you want. So you can, you, basically, you have the power to move a point to exactly the point you want it to be. And if you don't feel satisfied with that, you can hit pen tool, put a point there, Use command and put that point exactly where you want it. Put that point exactly where you want it. All right, and then you can go in and use the option option key, and then you just control that curve to exactly. So the pen tool, I have to say, is a very very powerful tool. You know, because you can get exact shapes and selections as you want, and it's just a matter of playing with it. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys, and you've learned a lot.